Stay black in America. Don't leave. Don't go anywhere. America is the greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. America, of course, is the number one greatest economy in the world, and black folks living in America make up the 15th greatest economy in the world. And today, I'm going to. I heard a, 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 a famous a famous person, someone who's considered a celebrity, says that um, don't ask me the question how to. Um, discipline my, my daughters because I don't discipline my daughters. I'm the wrong person to ask that question too. Well, I'm glad that was, that was, that was actually the, the best advice that that individual could have given to someone asking them that question. Because if you don't discipline your daughters and you don't know how to discipline your daughters, that's the best thing to do. The best thing to do is not give out information if you don't know nothing. If you don't know it, don't give it. I mean, that's the most important thing. Why well, give directions someplace if you don't know where where the place is, you know, if somebody asks you directions, you don't know, why give them directions, you don't know, so he did, he did a perfectly right thing, but that's what I came across in the Bible, what I knew always, right, it says that the Lord disciplines the ones he loves, this is God, your, your father, your, your God in, in heaven, he disciplines the ones he loves, and he gives instruction as the way fathers should discipline their, their children, children including girls and boys, baby girls, baby boys, right, so, you know, uh, discipline should always be thought of somebody whooping somebody, somebody uh, 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 causing extreme pain on someone. Um, you know, discipline is, is, is worse. It's leading people in the right direction. Hopefully you're, you're, you're making their lives so they won't run into calamity or trouble, they'll run away from trouble. Hoping that you'll have them living in such a way that um, their lives will be fruitful and wonderful. Having them learn discipline and self-control and learn how to behave in certain manners and ways. You know, you want them to be pleasant people amongst the world of, of chaotic situations. So my thing is that um, you should discipline your girls like you discipline your boys. If you love your girls, discipline them that way. If you love your boys, discipline them that way. And again, discipline does not mean what everybody thinks it means, like spare the rod, spoil the child, like beat somebody to their, to their webs on their body. I think that's kind of like a obsessive, you know. A lot of people who have those problems were born up in families where they had abusive fathers, abusive mothers, whooping them, tearing them up, bodies, or, or whips and marks on their bodies and carrying on beating them so bad like that. Those are people who just uh, just were raised the wrong way. But when that term is, is used, discipline and self-control and, and discipline your children and showing love to them, you got to put it in a biblical manner. You discipline your kids because you want them not to be disciplined by somebody else. Uh, in black America, you discipline your sons and your daughters. You don't want them to be caught in any situation where they're dealing with uh, the police and get locked up. You don't want them in any situation where they're fighting in school. You don't want them fighting on the street. You don't want them drunk on the street. You don't want them uh, in, a, in a wrong environment. People got drugs. You don't want them around the wrong crowd. So you discipline them not to be around those kind of people because you don't want these situation problems to come upon you or upon your children. So you discipline them in ways to make their life successful. You discipline them in ways to make them uh, be, be not candidates for crime or trouble or get or, or be around the wrong people, be exposed to the wrong things. Some things you can be exposed to later in life better than being exposed to them early in life. So if someone would, like man would ask me that advice, how would I discipline my daughters? I say, first of all, I would love my daughters. I would love them like I love my sons. I would protect them. I would nurture them. I would keep them. I would try to provide everything they actually kind of like need. I'm not going to like spoil nobody because you're spoiling people, man. You're already setting a bad example, you know. So don't spoil nobody. Treat them good. Treat them right. Show them how to how to be little ladies and act like little girls and how they supposed to grow up be kind of women that's going to raise a generation of possibly men and women, depending on what they what they bring forth, you know, when they're pregnant. So, uh, yeah, man, discipline discipline those daughters, man. Let them know. Uh, how they should dress, how they should talk, how they should carry themselves, where they should go, what it should be, what you expect of them, how you expect them to achieve great things, you know, good things. You want them to be, you don't want to be caught up in a, a negative kind of life. You know, that's the best you can do. You can discipline, you can train them, you can say everything you want to say, but the bottom line is free will and it's free choice. Just like God gives every individual free will and free choice. You can accept the good discipline or, or good uh, information or you can't just uh, push it aside. So uh, look, stay black in America, protect your black women, your black little girls and your black boys, and nurture them, keep them safe. You know, give them all the opportunities to advance uh, 
academically, because academically is going to rule the world, man. Uh, let them advance a academically. Let them get those uh, those degrees, finish school, become successful. You know, don't let them carouse and have children young and then have to raise these children young or, or be glorified by seeing uh, 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 people on TV, entertainers on TV who have miscellaneous kids by everybody doing all kind of things. And, but they glorify it because they wear expensive jewelry and nice cars, big houses on TV. That means nothing, man. You know, it says uh, you can gain the whole world and lose your soul. You know, so uh, you don't, 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 don't look at what those people do because if you hit, see all the headlines, most times the kids would die of drug overdoses. The kids uh, commit suicide. Or all the money in the world don't seem to help. They're not happy. You know, because they haven't been given that true love and that true, and true discipline. They haven't been given the true. Or what, or what Jesus Christ wants you to have. Your God and Father in heaven wants you to have. So if you haven't been given those two things, you're always empty, you're always searching, you're always looking. So if you're going to have children, you're going to become a father, you got to know this. you got to love your boys and your girls the same. And discipline goes both ways. And discipline is not just beating somebody. Discipline is, 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 is showing somebody how not to get beat. It's showing them how to live, how to carry themselves, how to be successful in life, and how to be good moms and dads when, when their time comes. So stay black in America. Subscribe to my channel. Till next time. Bye.